What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is Rustbeard, and today we're going to be talking about some some games. You ever, you ever want to play one of those really old games that you used to play back in the day on the PlayStation 1 or the PlayStation 2, and you get a really good sense of nostalgia for it, but you just wish that it was kind of brought into the, the current day and age, you know? You, you just wish that it, it got the same treatment as some of the other games that get brought into the, the current day and age but nobody asked for. Uh, examples of this would be Skyrim, for example, and I know that's not an old game, but, um, I mean, it's it's getting there, but I, I know that a lot of people, myself included, get really fed up with the fact that Skyrim gets ported and updates and facelifts and stuff all the damn time, but nobody asked for that. <laughs> it was already a really good looking game. Everybody already loved how it looked, and uh, it doesn't matter what the situation is Skyrim still gets a facelift and Skyrim still gets the attention but what about some of those games that are older than that that deserve to have a facelift the ones that deserve to be brought into the current state of gaming and to get a fresh coat of paint if you will I want to talk about a couple of those today some of them from my personal opinion that I think deserve a facelift and quite honestly deserve a remake to be honest with you and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one on my list is kind of an obvious one, and this one I think would benefit more from a remake, because I do think it's already been remastered. That is number six, Oblivion is my first pick. Uh, I think Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, should be remade. I think, uh, and that, you know what, I'll die on that hill. I think that if we were to bring it into today's standards and create a game that plays like Skyrim, that plays like a modern Bethesda game, then Oblivion would just be something that I could definitely see myself going back to again and playing again and again and again. And it already is, honestly. I already love playing Oblivion. I still love playing Oblivion, and I think that it holds up today. But it would be so cool to see Oblivion with today's modern standards of AAA gaming uh, with all the high-res textures and new character models and just, you know, just like a overhaul uh, of things. I don't want them to change the story. I don't want them to change the mechanics. I don't want them to change, like, how the game plays so much as it is how it feels to play more so just making it feel modern making it feel more smooth a little bit less clunky because let's face it oblivion is a little bit clunky and uh yeah that's pretty much my my first pick is oblivion i think that uh oblivion could definitely benefit from a facelift and again that's not a slight at oblivion at all i, th I love oblivion i think Oblivion's a great game but seeing it become fresh again would be really cool. Number five, Zelda and the Ocarina of Time. This is a given. I think this is something that I think players have wanted for a long time, especially with the success of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I would love to see Ocarina of Time be remade from the ground up. I, I don't want them, again, to change any story. I don't want them to change any elements of the game that that make it the Ocarina of Time, of course, I want it to just feel better to play. I want it to look like it it should in today's standards. I want it to be fresh again, you know? And Ocarina of Time, which is, is kind of an interesting one because I've even seen some fan-made stuff of people in Unreal Engine and Unity and all that kind of stuff recreating certain levels and areas in Ocarina of Time and uh, dude it looks beautiful it looks fantastic and I'll be honest with you I, I haven't had a N64 in a long time so I don't have the ability to play the Ocarina of Time so that kind of sucks I'm not sure if it's ported onto the Switch or not I don't think it is but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that one it would be super cool to see the Ocarina of Time be brought into today's standards and recreated as a brand new game I think that would be super fun and I know a ton of people I know a lot of people that would play the shit out of that of course as I'm going through this I've probably already shown uh, but I'm putting the Metacritic scores up for each one of these uh, just to show that, like, this is a game that was 
very well looked after. These are all games that were very well looked after, except for one of the ones on my list, uh, which we'll get to eventually. For the most part, these are all games that people loved to play. People have very fond memories of them. People have huge nostalgia for them. To, so to see them in a, a modern setting is not outlandish. It's not a crazy thing to ask. I think that some of these games, like I mentioned before, like Skyrim, for example, it's getting to the point now where the, the next time they announce some kind of Skyrim remaster or texture update or some shit like that, I'm just gonna like roll my eyes and be like, what? who asked for that? Nobody asked for that. <laughs> It just doesn't it doesn't make any sense it sucks but it is what it is and hopefully some of these games that i've listed here today will get some kind of treatment like that i think that would be great and of course some of these on this list will be more likely than others a couple of these are personal preferences of mine but i digress so let's go ahead and move on to number four number four is a twofer it is Tony Hawk's Underground 1 and 2. I think that both of these are games that I loved to play. I remember playing these with my friends and uh, just absolutely loving to play Tony Hawk's Underground 1 and 2. Especially 2 for some reason I played a lot more of, but uh, yeah, dude, I've had a lot of fun. There's, a, there's just so much to it that these two games getting an overhaul, complete overhaul where everything's the same maybe even adding a, a couple things to, to games like this would not be so bad adding extra levels or adding more character customization would be awesome especially for tony hawks underground 2 because the character customizer dude i spent so much time in that thing it's not even funny but uh building your your skateboards and like oh my god it was just super fun your your graffiti tag like the whole thing was great. I it, it was super funny. There's a lot of charm to it. A lot of the hidden levels are fun. It's just it's just one of those things that I remember having a lot of fun with as a kid, and I would love to see a remake of both of these, to be honest with you. Uh, but especially Underground 2, I think would be, in my opinion, better. But uh, they're both great games. They're both fun. They both have fun stories. And uh, yeah, super fun to play, super great, and honestly, they, they feel good to play today, I'm sure, but it would be still really cool to see them be brought into the more modern light. Uh, kind of like the, I know the Pro Skater, one of the Pro Skater games, I think it was the first and second one, um, both got remakes or something recently, I, I can't remember, but I didn't play Pro Skater uh, as much as I did Underground, so... It is what it is, but I think that this would be super fun to do, and I would absolutely, absolutely play this again if it got a facelift or an overhaul, overhaul or, or anything like that. That'd be awesome. Number three. So number three is kind of a weird one and probably a little bit left field, but these are the ones where it gets kind of personal preference and probably less likely to happen than the other ones, but my number three spot is War of the Monsters. Boy. This game was run ragged in my PlayStation 2. I remember playing this so much when I was a kid, especially with my buddy Trey. And we, dude, we played this for hours some days. I mean, we would just go ham. And the cool thing about it is, like, you don't have to have any time limit on it. You can just have just a crazy free-for-all in War of the Monsters with your buddy or solo, but it's still much better with friends, trust me. Uh, and just beat up on them or destroy the whole city and, uh, you know, like, it, it's just a really cool game. And that's the thing. A game like this in today's modern era where it's just a bunch of giant kaijus destroying cities in today's graphics and today's... Uh, technological advancements and stuff with video games oh my god it would be phenomenal and I would love to see it I think that War of the Monsters would lend itself very well to a remake and being able to see more monsters get added would be cool being able to see new levels added would be really cool different cities I know they had like uh, like parallel to IRL cities you know but uh, be, being able to see more of them would be great, and I think that that would be super fun. I would play the shit out of it. I know for sure I would make it a party game for sure. If I had friends over, if we were drinking or whatever, having having get-togethers, I would 100% pull out War of the Monsters to uh, to throw down to. Absolutely. It would be up there next to 
you know, your Mario parties and Mario Karts and stuff like that that you play uh, Overcooked during get-togethers like that. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Super fun. Super fun game. Number two, Draken or Drakan, The Ancient's Gates. This one is another personal preference, of course. I know that a lot of people probably watching this maybe didn't play this uh, growing up, but I sure as hell did. I remember going to a place called Planet Video down the road from my house when I lived in Virginia, and I, I would go there all the time and I'd rent <laughs> War of the Monsters or or uh, Tony Hawk Underground, you know, until I was able to buy them, of course. Yeah, I remember this one being in the roster of games that I would love to rent regularly, and I just remember seeing Ren and Aroch on the cover of this game, and I just, dude, it just took me to a magical place, you know? I, I just, a very fantastical, whimsical, dragon-slaying adventure kind of thing, you know? Or dragon-riding adventure in this case, I suppose. But it was just... A super cool feeling to play it was just really f I, I don't know it, the game is clunky as shit and there's no denying that the game is very much not something I think that holds up today not something like oblivion or uh, Ocarina of Time or anything that that f just still feels good to play because it doesn't I'll be honest with you I've played it you know in more recent years and I'm telling you right now it does it does not feel great to play the 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 Controls are very, very wonky and rough to get used to. I mean, once you've gotten used to it, it's not a big deal, but boy, it's rough. However, I would love, 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 love to see a remake of this, an overhaul, if you will, to just kind of make it feel better, make it look better. I know a lot of the NPCs, like some of the villagers and stuff, they're all exactly the same cut and paste NPCs, which I'm sure was like a budget thing. Being able to put multiple different characters and add some like maybe some side stories or side quests or whatever to make it like a a more modern feeling rpg would be super cool and oh my god dude i would play the shit out of this easy no questions asked whatsoever i would love to play a remake of the ancient gates and yeah that's why it's getting a number two is just because i feel like this one is one of those that is probably least likely to get it but one of the most deserving on this list just because it doesn't feel as good to play as some of the others on this list if that makes sense and my number one spot if anybody knows me personally you already know what this is gonna be probably and that is medieval 2 because medieval 1 already got a remake and guys it was phenomenal it was great i pre-ordered it i loved it i love playing it it feels great to play the nostalgia is just it's still there even though it looks so new it looks like a brand new game well it is a brand new game but it's not it's an old game and oh my god it holds up so well it's such a fun game however when i was growing up going back to planet video again i would rent medieval 2 so much i mean a ridiculous amount to the point where i i loved playing it i loved playing every single time i would boot this game up i just was transported into a just whimsical nostalgic feeling every single time that I, I can't even describe it really. And even just the opening level, the museum is just super fun and memorable and it's just a, it's such a good game. And I think that it is another one of those that's more deserving than a couple of the other ones on this list for an overhaul because again, it's an old PlayStation 1 game, PlayStation 2 game. I'm pretty sure it's PS1, but uh, I could be wrong on that one. But anyway, it, it plays very clunky. It plays very rigid, and it's not super fun to control. However, if they did the same thing that they did with Medieval 1 with Medieval 2, holy cow, it would be a, a game changer. And I would, I'd play this probably more than anything on this list. It is definitely deserving of a facelift, definitely deserving of a remake, and I would love to see it happen. So, let's make it happen. And you know what? That's not even talking about the uh, the soundtrack. The score from Medieval 2 is one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. So, uh, guys, come on. If you're, if you're watching this, if you see this, make it happen, please. Thank you. That'll about do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single bit of you guys' support. 
If you like this video, make sure you give me a giant thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well if you like this video. And if you want to see anything more like this, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Let me know if you like this video. Also, let me know in the comments what your most desired remake would be. What is a game that you used to play that you feel could definitely use a facelift? Uh, a game that you played when you were younger that maybe you feel doesn't play as fluidly as you would like it to, but you just really want to play it anyway, so you'd love to see it have a remake. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear the uh, cool nostalgia stories that you guys have to tell about those games. And with that out of the way, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.